Would you rather have this girl or this Eurus? I'm taking that Eurus. Eurus? Yeah. All right. Would you rather be groomed or would you rather have a car? A great question to ask an 11 year old child. And video aside, I have no idea how this is still going on because they are still using an 11 year old for OnlyFans promo. And even worse, as you're about to see in this video, they're actually doubling down and that is genuinely insane. So by this point, you've probably heard of McKinley Richardson. She is actually now known universally as Jack Doherty's girlfriend. And to be honest, that is one of the worst fates I could have thought of. But to that point, I can't say she hasn't deserved it because the way she's gone about YouTube and content creation is probably one of the worst we've ever seen. We did a video on her a while ago and it did do well. And now, which can only be a good thing, basically half of YouTube is talking about it. The scrutiny actually has gotten so bad that she has now dedicated her own channel to it. Like genuinely, look at her last four videos. My boyfriend ruined my life. He's breaking up with me. We are getting married. Handcuffed to my boyfriend for 24 hours. What a run of videos. I mean, even her own fans are forgetting her name at this point. You know what, before we get into this further, let me run it back a second. Let me remind you why she is coming under so much fire. Because honestly, every time I look back at this and find new clips, somehow, somehow it gets worse. I just adopted 10 kids. See, I was at the mall when I asked these kids' parents this. Excuse me, could I adopt all your kids for the day? Sure. Actually? Okay, kids, let's go. Then I took each and every single one of them. You know, jokes aside, this is what Ghislaine Maxwell was doing for that bloke she was working for. I think his name was Jeffrey or something. You might have heard of him. Yeah, she will routinely make content with and aimed at children audiences. And I'll show you another clip, which I think probably represents my point perfectly. Tell me your favorite color and I'll buy you whatever you want. Pink. Cute. Okay, do you want to go buy something? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yay. Innocent video in isolation. Unfortunately, that evaporates the moment you go into the comments because she has used this video as a vehicle to promote her OnlyFans. And this isn't a one-off. She does this routinely. Tell me your biggest secret and I'll buy you whatever you want. Sometimes I say bad words in school. <laughs> you say bad words in school? Okay, like what? Does your mom know? Yeah, she knows. I'm not lying when I say that this is the most mature McKinley Richardson fan. And by the way, his biggest secret isn't that he says those words. It's that he watches your content because if his parents knew the extent of this, well, he wouldn't be in this video, I hope. But luckily, more and more parents are now finding out about this. I mean, I've had so many comments on my videos around this. That can only ever be a good thing. But unfortunately, there are some parents out there that don't care. In fact, there are some parents out there that want to directly profit off this business practice. You saw it at the start of the video, it's Baby Gronk, and for reasons I can't understand, he is now back on her channel. We've had a video do well in the past on Baby Gronk, and again, more YouTubers are now speaking about Baby Gronk. But genuinely, in response to these videos, McKinley on her channel, her last two shorts are with Baby Gronk. This almost feels intentional, and if it is, it makes it so much worse. But we'll look at these videos now, because if nothing else, this is at least gonna hammer home the problem. Would you rather have this girl or this McLaren? McLaren? Oh, okay. All right, well, sorry. All right, would you rather have this girl or this blue Lambo? Lambo. Still? Still. Not good enough for you? No. Oh my gosh. That is the face of a woman who can no longer farm an 11 year old for clout. What a shame, what a shame. I'll give her credit where credit's due. She actually didn't promote her OnlyFans in the comments for this one. But the fact that that is a point of praise for McKinley Richardson, that probably tells you how far this girl has fallen. Despite saying that though, she then did make another video of Baby Grunk straight after. I've not seen it yet. I am watching this with you for the first time. If you make this shot, I'll bring out Livy Dunn. For real? I will, yes. Oh shoot, okay, you made it. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, he is not excited. He uh, wants to go play Xbox, probably. I and mean, I don't know why I got my hopes up. Obviously, this video was going to end up with something like this. For the uninitiated, Livy Dunn is a grown woman. And a grown woman that he is supposed to quote-unquote riz up. Whatever that means. Baby Gronk clearly doesn't know what that means. But we'll see what happens. You know, surely this can only get worse. Okay, well, let me close your eyes. All right, Livy. Walk straight. And here she is. That's the Timu Livy Dunn. Timu Livy Dunn. Yeah. I'm better. What do you mean? So it's not gonna work? It's not gonna work. Okay, well. Oops. Now after this, I would have loved to tell you that Baby Grunk was then allowed to be a kid again. But clearly, after everything we've learned so far, that was never going to be the case. I mean, he walked away, but he probably had another shoot in about 15 minutes with another OnlyFans model. With the way his dad's got him working, that is not even a joke. That is just a reality of the situation. It's hard to kind of encapsulate the gravity of the Baby Grunk situation in one segment. Again, I've done another video on it, so if you want to watch that afterwards, you definitely will learn. And the way it's going, there is going to be another Baby Grunk 
Cyberpunk video in the future. Nothing is going to change, so like and sub, and you will get that when it does come out. But either way, we are going to move back to McKinley now. As I said, she started making videos on herself, and to be honest, these videos are probably everything you thought they would be. My boyfriend is constantly messing with me. Kimmy, I'm so sorry for doing this to you. Oh, you're fudged. He's putting me in the hospital, cheating on me, and always telling me he's going to leave me. It's humiliated, bro. He's no, what the f Tell him again. No, I Everyone, swear to God, they're not laughing. You don't see it. I don't know what to do. You see, the funniest thing about this is you could just tell from her delivery alone. She does not want to be doing this. I mean, I'll play it again. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. I don't know what to do. And you can probably forgive me for not watching this full video. The full thing is hours long, but I did skim through it. And there is a point in the video where they're trying to show affection to each other. And somehow this is probably the weirdest thing in this video. This interaction does not feel human. Chats, bro. You're so hot. You know? I love when you show emotion. You're so hot. You're so hot. Jack Doherty might be the first conscious droid, if you can even call him conscious. I mean, I look in his eyes and I don't think he's conscious, to be fair. But again, McKinley's delivery does just give it all away. She wants to be anywhere but there right now. Is it possible to feel bad for this girl? Probably not. But with these clips, it is getting close. She signed up to sell pictures. She does not want to be doing this. But by this point, her subscriber base could be the least conscious group of people on the planet. I mean, you look at the comments and this becomes very clear. McKinley is the buttful girl in the planet. I could probably end it at that, but uh, I'll go deeper for the sake of the video. The whole house is filled with weirdos and Jack looks like a 14 year old girl and everyone else are his infinite money machines. I mean, it's true and I'm glad people are finally clocking on. Jack Doty's OnlyFans house is hell on earth. It actually is hell on earth. I wish Jack and McKinley would stop smoking vapes, cigarettes, cigars, who else? I mean, I'll level with you, Kyla. That could be the least of their problems. But luckily for her, she does still have fans out there. I am so so sorry, McKinley. Like, if you love McKinley, I love her. Who would like that comment? I mean, you gotta be a cretin, really. It actually does, at this point, shock me that people do think this is a real relationship. These two exist in the same space purely for marketing reasons. And even alongside the videos, they are now playing up to this on stream. Hey, I miss you. And I'm like looking at you. Oh, absolutely. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? Uh, why are you telling me this? <laughs> How could she miss that huge camera and the clearly very bright lighting in her face? Somebody could say that this was set up. I mean, if you've got an IQ above 50, you probably know this was set up. But then they did respond to it afterwards. And even given the fact that this was clearly set up, the reaction is like... Just so weird. Everyone in my chat and there's on Twitter too. It says my girlfriend is cheating on me with the cameraman. Oh, oh what? No, wait, McKinley, actually, can you stop? There's nothing to cry about, bro. Listen, can you, can you be happy? Can you, can you... Calling your fake girlfriend, bro. I mean, that really does sell it to me. But she is like genuinely crying. And to be fair, if Jack Doherty did touch me, I would probably cry too. But these tears actually seem authentic. And the more you watch this, the more it makes sense. Oh, can you get me? Julian, can you get me twisted? Julian, can you get me twisted, please? Somehow, Jack Doherty is not the zestiest guy in this car. I don't know how, but respects, if nothing else. I mean, we should probably get them their twisted tees. If we don't, I'm scared what will happen. And this clip is irrelevant to the narrative. Just felt like we needed a breather. We'll uh, we'll get back to I'm it. I'm getting cocked on Twitter. I will. I'm okay. so upset that that's no. a thing, because I didn't say that. It's fine. Why the fuck would I say that? Cut boy Doherty. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking on myself, bro. You can't cry. I know, I'm so bad. I don't want that TV thing. Now, clearly, she is hammered. And I don't blame her, to be fair. If I was living this lifestyle, I would probably stay drunk. But it is weird, to be honest. Really weird. And it's even weirder that they played the whole cheating thing as a joke. Because I've looked into it. And there might be, like, actually genuine grounds for thinking that she is, in fact, disloyal. And I was like, hey, McKinley, do you want to look at the pictures that I got of you from L.A.? And then she, she comes into my room, she gets in the bed with me under the covers, we're just like on the laptop, whatever. Very shortly, laptop closes, we're making out. I'm doing some things with her, whatever, you know. So this guy's name is Matthew JGL. Not sure that I trust a man that moves his hands like that, but we will hear him out. He's had a lot to say about Jack Doherty, and we have cited him in other videos. It's worth noting that I think he was fired, so obviously he is going to have a little bit of bad will towards the team. Either way, we'll hear him out, because he might have something interesting to say. And Jack walks in, he's like, yo, are we going to go get some... Uh, oh, oh. Yo! And then walks back out. I look at McKinley, I'm like... Uh, I just literally shrug my shoulders. I'm like, uh. 
And then we just go back to making out whatever. In fairness, that is actually in character for Jack Doherty. Would have put it past him. I mean, would any of us put it past him at this point? And he kept going. And in the next clip, he actually did show proof. I'm like talking Spanish to the to the Uber driver because like, whatever. Like I was speaking to him and she was like, oh my God, that's so hot. And then she just started making out with me again. <laughs> Literally, like, li like I'm not car, even, in, yes. the, in the Uber on the I, way I, have, I have a snapshot of her. Make of it what you will. You know, his words, not mine. But it does seem like a bit of an open secret. Basically, anybody that's ever been in this guy's vicinity seems to have some kind of story. Another one on this front is Neon. Anyone fucking loser, bro. There's a reason why your girl hasn't fucked you. You've been with your girl for a year and she hasn't fucked you once on my mother's life. Wallahi, you have not had sex with your girl once. There's a reason why, you fucking joke. Again, bro. he's got reason to say something out of spite. But when multiple people do it, obviously claims like this do become more credible. But either way, the claims from this JGL guy did keep going. This guy was basically on a press tour at this point. I'm so disgusted by him. Like, da -da 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 -da. this girl threw me off, bro. She said she was a Christian. She said she'll never do. McKinley kept asking me this once she got to the house. She was like, do you think Jack's gonna keep me around if I don't do the OS? The answer's no. The moment you stop, you are gone. Now, full disclosure, McKinley has obviously denied everything he said. And it's he said, she said, and her word is as good as his. There is one slightly weird bit of evidence that comes from Grace Rain. I've also done a video on her in the past, and I'll show you a clip just to remind you. My boyfriend is Jack Doherty, and his ex-girlfriend is still crazy in love with him. She's so obsessed with him to the point where she even moved into our house. Basically a clone, you know, just in different skin. But weirdly, she did actually DM this JGL guy. She told him to drop the proof. And this would imply that she knew that he had proof. I mean, word of disclosure, the loyalty between these people is paper thin, obviously. But McKinley did respond. She said, this girl is still in love with my boyfriend. And obviously she would stir this up. Now, if you're anything like me, your first thought is probably going to be, this is marketing. And as far as I can tell, they have collabed in the time since. Every time I curse, I get shocked. Ow! My friends have told me recently that I've been cursing a lot off camera. So that's why I'm doing this shit. Ow, ow, ow. I mean, yeah, it does make sense that this would be marketing. But genuinely, I can't tell either way. This world is so foreign to me. I mean, these people are so money driven that they have just lost their souls. If these people didn't promote OnlyFans to children, I would probably wish them the best. They need it, after all. And I think this video might represent that perfectly. And I was looking back and weirdly, my video on her does coincide with the worst night of her life. Obviously a coincidence, but it is still kind of funny. And it's with that said that I think I've delved too deep today. I will leave you with one more clip. What? Dad's number? Yeah, it's 231208. Go show me your <laughs> Oh my gosh, how old are you? Well, but age is just a number. Like in Saab or Shill, stick a camera in your face. 